There's been a huge backlash online, in the news, all over the place about children in a school identifying not just as a different gender, but identifying as a cat. Now, lots of the discussions that I've seen on Twitter have said that that didn't happen. They weren't, in fact, identifying as a cat or anything else. But in fact, that is the case. The child was saying that they were identifying as a cat. But the backlash has been because a teacher branded a 13-year-old pupil as despicable. And I've heard the recording, and essentially the teacher was shouting and shutting down this student's opinions on these issues during a lesson. Now, lessons are designed to educate, but also to discuss these things so that everybody can understand and everybody's entitled to their opinion. But the way that the teacher has done this has caused significant backlash. So much so that Gillian Keegan, Ed Education Secretary, is understood, as it's reported, to have ordered an investigation into the school, which is Rye College, after this uh, conversation has been recorded and released into public consumption and dissemination. Even Rishi Sunak himself has come into the discussion and said that it's not right for children to be influenced by the personal views of the teachers when it comes to transgender issues. Downing Street has uh, last Tuesday said that t head teachers should not be teaching children that they can identify as cats or other animals. Now, this comes about reportedly after some children identifying as cats will meow in response to questions, some of the children identifying as a horse, as a dinosaur, and in one case, as a moon. Now, there comes a point where you have to try to ascertain whether these children are genuinely identifying or think that they're identifying as something else, as in really whether it is a psychological condition, whether they are just playing, as in playing a game, or whether they are playing up, as in trying to play up to the teacher to get response and attention and so on. Either way, Downing Street is understood to have said that teachers should not be teaching contested ideology as fact. They must have due regard to safeguarding if a pupil identifies as an animal, according to a source reportedly close to the Education Secretary. So as I said, it's understood that an investigation has been ordered into pupils' safety and well-being because apparently students have been told that they should report to a senior school leader if someone refuses to affirm their preferred identity, which includes those of animals. The people in question on the recording said in the recording that if they want to identify as a cat or something, then they are genuinely unwell. Rye College, in response to the backlash, has said that whilst we're not aware at this stage of any plans for a visit from the Department for Education, we'll continue to keep them proactively updated on the situation and would, of course, support any inquiries they have. We're committed to offering our pupils inclusive education. Teachers endeavour to ensure that people's views are listened to and encourage them to ask questions and engage in discussion. Teachers also aim to answer questions sensitively and honestly. We strive to uphold the highest standards across the school. We're reviewing our processes and working with the relevant individuals to ensure that such events do not take place in the future. Well, Taking that middle paragraph there, where it said we're committed to offering our pupils an inclusive education, teachers endeavour to ensure that people's views are listened to, that's, I think, with respect, doublespeak for saying that we would like to do this, but it didn't happen this time. At least my professional view, based on the recording, if that recording is a genuine recording from that school, then that teacher in that situation was not listening to that child's opinions, they were not engaging in sensible discussion, and it was certainly not particularly sensitive. So as I said, it seems to be that there's an investigation that's going to happen. It might all happen quietly, it might happen very publicly. We will find out, and I will come back and let you know what happens and what I think. In the meantime, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell for new updates. But if you want to hear my personal views on things like this, you will find those over on Black Belt Secrets, linked in the description below, which is a little bit less of the law, not completely devoid of law. I'll still sprinkle it in now and again, but you'll get my personal opinions, what I really think, which don't really belong on this channel, but they do belong there. So thank you all for subscribing there. I'll see you there, and I'll see you next time.